we are asked to add or subtract the rational expressions. In order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have a common denominator or like denominators. For both of these examples, notice that we do have like denominators. In order to add or subtract rational expressions with like denominators, the denominator remains the same, and we add or subtract the numerators. So for the first example, notice how we have a common denominator of x plus six, and therefore when we find the sum, the denominator remains x plus six. And because we are adding, we now add the numerators, which gives us the quantity x squared plus eight x plus 12. And now let's simplify the numerator by dropping the parentheses, which gives us the quantity x squared plus eight x plus 12 over the quantity x plus six. The next step is to simplify the rational expression by simplifying out any common factors between the numerator and denominator. To do this though, we must first factor the numerator. The only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore if this trinomial does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. Because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x, we have an x in the first position of both binomials. Because the leading coefficient is one, the second terms of the binomial factors will be the factors of positive 12 that add to positive eight. And because six times two is equal to positive 12, and six plus two is equal to eight, the factors we need are positive six and positive two, which means one binomial factor is x plus six, and the other is x plus two. Now that we factored the numerator, notice how we can see there's a common factor of x plus six between the numerator and denominator. x plus six divided by x plus six simplifies to one, and therefore the simplified sum is just the quantity x plus two. Notice how we do have a denominator of one here, but the quantity x plus two divided by one is just x plus two. For the second example, we are subtracting, but once again, we do have a common denominator, and therefore when we subtract, the denominator remains the quantity x squared minus three x plus 18. And the numerator is going to be the quantity five x squared minus seven x plus three minus the quantity four x squared plus x minus nine. Now we need to simplify the numerator to clear the parentheses here, we can think of distributing a positive one, but because of the subtraction here, we need to think of distributing a negative one. Distributing a positive one here won't change anything. We have five x squared minus seven x plus three, and now distributing negative one, we have negative one times four x squared, which is negative four x squared, giving us minus four x squared, and then we have negative one times positive x, which is negative x, giving us minus x, and then we have negative one times negative nine, which is positive nine, giving us plus nine. And now we combine like terms in the numerator. Five x squared minus four x squared is one x squared, or x squared. And we have negative seven x minus x, or minus one x, which is negative eight x, giving us minus eight x. And then we have three plus nine, which is positive 12, giving us plus 12. The next step is to simplify out any common factors between the numerator and denominator, but to do this, we must first factor the numerator and denominator. We cannot simplify the x squared over x squared because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction, which is the same reason why we cannot simplify the 12 and the 18 here. Factoring the numerator, the only common factor is one, and therefore if the trinomial does factor, it factors into two binomial factors because the first term is x squared, which is equal to x times x. We have x here and x here. Because the leading coefficient is one, the terms in the second positions are the factors of positive 12 that add to negative eight. Because the sum must be negative, we need negative factors of positive 12. And because negative two times negative six is equal to positive 12, and negative two plus negative six is equal to negative eight, the factors we need are negative two and negative six, which means one binomial factor is x minus two, and the other is x minus six. And now let's factor x squared minus three x plus 18. Again, the only common factor among all three terms is one, and therefore if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The first term is x squared, and therefore we have a factor of x here and here in the first positions. Because the leading coefficient is one, the second terms of the binomial factors will be the factors of positive 18 
that add to negative three. And because negative six times positive three is equal to negative 18, and negative six plus positive three is equal to negative three, the factors we need are negative six and positive three, which means one binomial factor is x minus six, and the other is x plus three. Now that we factored the numerator and denominator, we can see there's a common factor of x minus six between the numerator and denominator, which we'll simplify out. x minus six divided by x minus six simplifies to one, and therefore the simplified difference is equal to the quantity x minus two over the quantity x plus three. I hope you found this helpful.